Welcome back to Career Talk. I'm your host, Matt Lowney, and our next guest today is Tom Truitt, and he's here to talk about a very interesting new technology that job seekers can take advantage of called YourElevatorPitch.net. So, Tom, tell me a little about yourself and about the website. Thank you very much for having me. First off, I've spent the bulk of my career in human resources. I've been an executive recruiter for 16 years, so mm -hmm. I understand the, you know, the thorough dynamics of the job market. The reason I've launched YourElevatorPitch.net is to help job seekers stand out in this very crowded job market. Because we've seen, there's, in Tennessee, we have over 10% unemployment. There's lots of people out there competing for far fewer jobs. That's exactly right. And regrettably, the way those job seekers gain visibility in the eyes of hiring authorities today has mm -hmm. really changed in the last few years. As you may be well aware, most job seekers are forced to apply online mm -hmm. to companies. And really what that means is they upload their resume into a giant keyword searchable database. Sure. A human being never has the opportunity to see that person, mm -hmm. let alone learn more about the real value that they can create for that company. Mm -hmm. So what we're doing at Your Elevator Pitch is we are scripting and coaching a 60-second elevator pitch video for a job seeker. Then we enable them to take that video and send it out to targeted decision makers using a very smart email campaign manager. Mm -hmm. That allows them to track the metrics of their email. In other words, they have the opportunity to know who got their video, who watched it, sure. who forwarded it, and who they forward it to. It gives them visibility to their candidacy. And I guess it also gives you as an opportunity for a candidate to follow up and say, oh, I saw that you opened up my my resume, is there anything else you'd have a question about? That's exactly right, Matt. That's, so for instance, if a job seeker sends out 20 videos and mm -hmm. say five of them watch or are watched, yeah. three of those are forwarded, the job seeker knows exactly who watched it, if they can chase those five and then more specifically those three and, and really put themselves in a position to land that first interview. And I know lots of people probably aren't comfortable in front of the camera. So I'm, I'm sure the coaching, you're going to have to coach some of these folks, right? What's that experience, getting in front of this screen and taping that 60 seconds, what's that like? You bet. There's a lot of one-to-one -one coaching that takes place long before they ever walk into our studio. Mm -hmm. Our career coaches sit down with the candidate and they go through a lengthy process of condensing their career into that 60-second script. That's a, that's a lengthy process unto itself. Then the candidate takes their script, they mm -hmm. upload it into our teleprompter suite, which is in our platform, mm -hmm. they rehearse it again and again and again so that the, when they do walk into our studio to film, mm -hmm. they're already very, very comfortable in front of a teleprompter. And this is still fairly new. Uh, I'm sure it's gonna, there's going to be a ramp up time for both job seekers and employers to, to see the, the value in this, but kind of how's it being received so far? Matt, we are overwhelmed with the positive response, both from job seekers, from institutions like universities that want to use this to showcase their students, and from corporations that want to use it as an internal tool to uh, highlight or showcase their high potential employees. So uh, like MBA students who employers can just kind of flip through all their video resumes or video pitches versus that's a book, right? That's exactly right. And what that means, the, the school itself stands out as being very progressive and using modern technology, but it also helps corporations whose budgets have been constrained by the mm -hmm. economy. If, for instance, you know, certain universities are used to having 10 large companies come onto campus to interview. Sure. Well, in today's economy, maybe only five are coming, mm -hmm. but this enables the school to remain in touch with those other five and provide access to their students. And something that's a little bit more tangible than just a forwarded or document, for instance. That's exactly right. So uh, with anything new, I'm sure there's a certain set of resistance to that. And it was interesting, I was surprised that employers were so receptive out of the gate. Are you seeing any, res I can see where it works well internally, but from external applicants, are you seeing any resistance to that or they just don't see it? No, they love it. The, okay. And the reason they love it is mm -hmm. we're providing all the information that an internal recruiter inside of a company needs to make a qualified decision about a candidate. In other words, there's no mystery. When you see the resume, you see the video, you, you've got the full snapshot of the individual, and it enables the best of the best to rise to the top. And uh, I guess the one thing, I, everybody should have a, com a, 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 a pitch, if you will, whether that's on video or just, you know, when they're networking with folks. What are some 
key tidbits that should be included as part of your personal commercial? What we identify for the candidate are four unique selling propositions mm -hmm. where they have really created real value in a former job, mm -hmm. you know, either cost savings or increased in increases in business or mm -hmm. headcount reduction, whatever they've done to really make a difference and stand out. Sure. So you actually help them kind of make sure that it's not just a regurgitation of their resume. I know that that's what I see when a lot of people talk about their elevator pitches that I get on the phone or in person. It's just basically, here's my resume, and I'm going to read it to that, you. That's exactly right. We help them condense their career into the four unique selling points and really build a tight script around those four. It's not just a regurgitation of the function of their career, mm -hmm. but focuses on the results of their career. So what does this, thing, uh, let's say I'm on the other end of this thing as an employer, and I get this link from a job seeker that says, watch my elevator pitch. What, what should I expect to see in that as somebody that's actually on the receiving end? You will receive an email, a mm -hmm. templated email from our customer. Okay. It will direct you to click on an image of him, and when you do, you're transported to a web page mm -hmm. that has his business card, his resume, and his video right there at your fingertips. Mm -hmm. After you're done viewing it, if you choose not to act on the candidate, you merely close the browser and move on. Mm -hmm. However, we have built in two other very clever tools. If you like what you see, you can immediately download the resume into your applicant tracking system, mm -hmm. or you can immediately email the candidate back with an inquire button that we've built into it. I was actually, that was one of the questions I was going to ask is, so if it, ultimately a company has to get this applicant into their applicant tracking system, that's just kind of the rules of the game. So you actually provide that kind of easy transition in for them. Absolutely. And, and Matt, this goes back to 16 years as a headhunter. I understand mm -hmm. the way the, the world works in this, in this segment of the world at least. Mm -hmm. And we've taken everything into consideration, technology, human resources, EEOC compliance issues, and mm -hmm. baked it into a wonderful offering. So uh, how long has your elevator pitch been around? I mean, you say it's brand new. I mean, you guys... Brand new. I, I started working on it late last fall when I saw okay. the job market really start to tumble mm -hmm. downhill. Uh, we launched officially about a month and a half ago. Oh, wow. So you, you guys are very new in this process, yes. and I, I think it's a, a cool thing to work with the schools, because I think that's a, a great window of opportunity for MBA students. They're having a tough time now. It's not just MBA. It's mm -hmm. MBA, it's law, it's even undergrad. I mean, let's face it, mom and dad have just spent $100,000 to send their son or daughter to college, and here's an opportunity to spend a little bit more money to enable them to stand out in this crowded job market. We've only got a couple seconds here left, so again, what's the website? It's www.yourelevatorpitch.net. Very good, yourelevatorpitch.net. Tom, thanks for being on, and if anybody's seen anything from Brooke or Angela or Tom they have questions about here, certainly feel free to email me here at the show. I'll get you information. It's careertalknashville at yahoo.com. Thanks so much for watching.